So welcome back to the Piney Woods Homestead, y'all. I told Lisa earlier we went to get some metal for building these new raised beds that I told you we'd show you how to construct one. But we needed some more metal anyways because we got to build Samson a hut for his new hog lot. And we got to do some additional work on the Farrowin barn to make it just a little bit bigger because Rosie, she's gotten pretty big, y'all. And she needs a little bit more room to safely be able to farrow when she does that around June the 10th. But right now I've got to get onto this lumber pile and pull out some lumber to go down here and work on the hog chute. And I'll show you what I mean here in just a minute by that. So I've got a bunch of lumber here that my brother Wesley had milled up for me back while I was really sick. And I haven't touched it at all. And so what I'm going to do is pull out some of these boards that I'm going to need to work on this hog chute down here. I told Lisa, I said, man, it's a nice day. I got to get outside. I've got to do a few things. I just can't stay cooped up. I got all speaking of cooped up roosters walking down here to me right now. Hey, buddy. So it's not really good to leave all of that plastic over this green lumber like that because it will mold. But we had so much rain and snow off and on, snow off and on throughout the winter that it kind of just made sense to leave it covered up. But for the most part, it's okay. And y'all, it feels pretty good to be getting back into the swing of things. I am by no means going at 100% like I have in the past. I'm pretty much at about 50%. And that's all right. I get out here and do a few things every day. Help get me a little bit stronger. And the sooner the better that I get stronger. Woke you up, didn't I? So, a hog chute is something that you have to have if you're going to raise pigs. We, we've we done it without it. Before we it kind of expanded things here, we just had three strands of electric wire. And when it came time to kill a pig, we would just do that on the inside of the fence, put the forks of the tractor over, lift that hog out with a pallet, something like that. But I'm gonna tell you, that is not convenient at all. And we're actually, you know, trying to raise hogs here and grow them out and sell piglets and things of that nature. And we need an area that's self-contained that we can run the pigs into one at a time, let them step onto the live weight scale, get their weight and sell it to somebody wanting piglets, wean piglets to raise, or a live weight hog if they're wanting something like that. Plus it helps us when it comes time to butcher that we can actually go ahead and get a live weight on that pig before we actually kill it, stick it, and hang it up. So when I'm talking about a loading chute, where I'm walking right here is gonna be the loading chute. If you notice, you've got a gate right here where we're topping out Porky. And yeah, I said I wasn't gonna name a pig that I eat, but Porky, I can handle that. And Dixie, she'll end up going over there with Rosie. So we'll have to separate them. That's why we have, I don't know if you can see, uh, Dick, I think that's Dixie that just came out over there. Or is that Porky? I can't tell from this far away. But we've got the other side of this farrowing area opened up so they can go in and out. That way we can separate the two when it comes time to actually take care of our meat hog. 
So actually walking in from the chute, there'll be a gate here. And as you go forward, you notice a post that I actually put in the ground about a week ago. About killed me getting it in there, but I got it in. That was my one task for the day and I accomplished it. It's gonna be a gate hanging on that. That gate's gonna serve as a purpose of this right here. Looking down this way, Samson, who is being very loud behind me, he's gonna have about a 30 foot walkway boarded up that will allow him in and out over here with any gilts or sows that we have. And turning back here, that gate straight in front, Porky and Dixie are in there. And then this area here is gonna get taken down and the front of this Farrowin barn is gonna be extended out. So everybody gets excited when you come down here, they think you're gonna feed them again. They get fed twice a day, we bucket feed them. But let me set this camera up and I'm gonna start cutting a few boards to length and getting them installed. directly hitting the ground because remember this is rough cut southern yellow pine and it will rot but there'll be some homemade stain to go on that but we want to keep it up off the ground and I'm gonna run a few screws just to get started these are like a nickel a piece now so I've got a bunch of nails. I've also got tendonitis in both arms, but that's okay. I need to work some of it out. That's what I'm hoping. So I'll get these going and you want to keep these boards nice and tight all the way up. That way when the hog is walking out or the pig can't see out, keeps them from, pan from panicking, kind of like blinders on a horse. So you really want your board to extend up above this. This is only about three feet out of the ground. That's because at the time, that's the length of four by fours I had that were treated and I wanted them in the ground. That's as far as I could get them. So I want my boards to come up a little higher. So let me cut a skinny board to go here and then I'll put one of these nice wide boards up top. Man, it sure feels good to drive a couple of nails. First nails I have. 
driven in four months. Now I'm out of breath. Yeah, it's because I'm out of shape. <laughs> but I'll get back into shape, y'all. <sighs> Let me keep on moving. Now the idea, y'all, is that you'll be able to push that pig with your sorting panel all the way out until it loads onto a trailer. That's the whole purpose of this chute right here. Now in my case, it's going to be closed in. We'll bring the hog in here, take care of the hog, and be able to just lift him right out with the forks on the tractor. Dixie and Samson are kissing. Can't head at y'all. You ain't old enough, Samson. This is what you're looking for, y'all. Nice and tight. Pig can't see through it. I've decided just to go ahead and board this little section up because I don't have it in me to build two gates today. I may not even get the one built that I need for the end. But that'll be temporary. That'll come down and the gate will be there for Samson. All right, y'all. That's going to wrap it up for me today. I've done about all I care to do. Actually, I want to do a whole lot more, but it's just taking time. Guys, thanks for hanging out with me at the Piney Woods Homestead today. Lisa's up there making some homemade bread and homemade hot dog buns, because I told her I wanted hot dogs tonight. I like hot dogs. If you like hot dogs, let me know in the comments. Y'all have a great day, a great week. Subscribe if you hadn't, and if you have, we appreciate you. Hit that old like button, share it with your friends. That'll help us out a whole lot here, growing this channel. Appreciate y'all. See you on the next one.